Oh, so praise God. Feliz Domingo por la mañana y feliz Domingo de Ramos. Amen. Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home, Amen. where we honor God, we love Amen. families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. Just as you see on the screen there. And we want to uh, welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. All we yeah. ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Yeah. And I haven't said this in a while, but I'm going to say it. The Lord's not finished with you. Uh -huh. Amen. He wants to do great things through you. Amen. So make yourself available to Him. Amen. Because you can do great things for God. Amen. Yeah. Big or small, it doesn't matter. We serve a big God. Yes, we do. Amen. And we're pleasing Him. You'll never please people. Don't be a, a people pleaser. Be a That's God pleaser. It. Amen. God. He's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. None of them in fruit to feed. All you have to do is be available. And remember this, that you can do all things through Christ all things. who strengthens you. And if you don't know, no, if you don't know, then you go to him and you ask him. Amen. He's going to tell you. Amen. He doesn't, he doesn't want you to fail. He wants you to win. Yes. He wants you to be a winner. He wants you to be an overcomer. Amen. And he wants you to be triumphant, just like he was triumphant coming into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Amen. Man, they honored him as a king. And a week later, they're crucifying him. Amen. Amen. So let's not be like that. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Be a winner. Be a champion. You're a warrior for God. Amen. Amen. Not a warrior, but a warrior for God. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. So let's, let's remember that. We are his body. And he's going to use his body. That means that's, you're part of it. So you're not excluded. You're included. So all you got to do is make yourself available. Well, Lord, here I am. Use me. And guess what? He's going to use you. Yeah. You just got to take steps of faith Amen. and Amen. believe and trust. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm excited. Let's uh, make this declaration together. Amen. Grab your sword. So yes. to God. Amen. And let's say it like we mean it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You believe that. Say amen. Amen. I believe it. So praise God. He wants to use you. Thank you. You know the world. The enemy, if you're not renewing your mind with the Word of God, you're going to get a lot of negative reports. Amen. And we're going to be talking today about uh, whose report are you going to believe? Uh -huh. Whose report will you believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Let me see what I wrote here. I wrote something here. Let me get this up here. Whose report will you believe? Uh -huh. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord and uh, believe His Word. You got to get in his word, get the word in you so you can start speaking the word of God and agree with his word. Amen. What the, Don't agree with what the world says because the world is always putting down. The world is always negative. You'll be positive. Amen. Start speaking the word of God and be positive. Don't say what the world says. Say what God says. Amen. What the word of God says. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I have a scripture break I want to read for you right quick. And it's not long. It's short. We're going to be talking. I did give the family here a handout. Make sure Mr. Burke gets one there. Yes, he got one. Okay, scripture break, power source. Jesus is your power source. Oh, yeah. So if he's my power source, what do I want to do? I want to stay connected. Yeah. I want to stay plugged in. You know, you might have a vacuum cleaner, and it does a great job. But if you don't plug it in, it ain't going to do nothing. It ain't going to work. <laughs> We need, we need to stay connected to our power source. Yeah. He's our power source. Yeah. So if we're connected to him, we're going to do and accomplish what he wants us to do. Amen, amen, amen. We need his power. Remember, we're, th this is a spiritual battle. Uh -huh. Physically, we're no match to a spiritual battle. But if we're connected to him, we're connected to the word, guess what? He says that we can do all things through Christ, through him who strengthens us. Amen. We need that. So he is our power source. Stay connected to him. We fight this spiritual battle daily. Amen. Not once in a while, but daily. Amen. Your abilities can only take you so high and so far. Jesus is your power source you need in your life to fight this spiritual battle. Depend, rely, lean on totally, totally on him. Stay plugged to the power of Jesus daily. And you'll never or you won't stumble. Amen. Man, you, you, you're you just going to 
press on with him. Yeah. Because greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. And the world's going to try to put you down. He's going, enemy's going to see, try to distract you by using whatever. But you're going to stay connected. And you're going to stay plugged. And you're going to press on with him. Amen. Amen. Whew, hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, we'll just leave it there. And uh, I didn't give you a handout. And the handout talks about whose report are you going to believe? Uh -huh. Well, you can say, I am going to believe the report of the Lord. And I gave you some I gave you some bad reports and I gave you some good reports. And then I gave you some Bible scriptures. This is not all the Bible scriptures. This is just some Bible scriptures Amen. that deal with this. But, you know, if you go around saying, I feel sick, I feel bad, I, I, you know, whatever you're confessing, you're magnifying the sickness. You're magnifying that more than you're magnifying your God. Amen. Why don't you magnify what... Won't you magnify him and speak the word of what he says about the situation? Yes. Amen. Whew, I have too many cares. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Just a few. Just, I'm afraid. He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, love and a love sound, sound, a mind. Amen. Mind. Just uh, struggles. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against mm -hmm. principality. So I'm going to stay connected to him because I can overcome all these things. Amen. Woo. I'm too tired. Well, he'll give you rest. <laughs> Pastor Amen. works, you know, Monday through Sunday. <laughs> Amen. But I still stay focused on what he yes. wants me to do. Amen. And I make sure that I get plenty of time with him and yes. give him plenty of time. Amen. Amen. It's impossible. Yeah. You know, you start thinking and when you're thinking in, in, in the negative, you start thinking physically. You start thinking, that's impossible for me. Yeah, it's impossible for you. But guess what? Greater is he that's in you. It's Amen. not impossible. With him, all Amen. things are possible. Yes. Amen. So we can turn these around. I can't go. Yeah, you can go. Yeah. Amen. He's with you. You know, you feel lonely. You feel depressed. Well, God is with you all the time. Yes. Why don't you plug in? Why don't you stay connected to him and ask him, you know, and uh, you feel alone. I'll never, be, I'll never leave you, know, forsake you. He's right there with you. You know, you don't have to reach to whatever drug or you don't have to reach to whatever drink you got. <laughs> the best drink and the best high you can have is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get high on the most high. Amen. Amen. Ooh, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Praise God. So, whose report are you going to believe? I just gave you a quick example there because the Bible is full yes. of reports. Amen. Yes. So, whose report are you going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Uh -huh. We're living in a world full of conflict reports. Satan and this world who give their bad or negative reports. Yes. Amen. And they got all kinds of medias to put out put it out on. Yes. And they got all kinds of people they use too. Because mm -hmm. if you're not for God, you're speaking the negative things. And don't hang around and listen to all the negative reports. Yes, yes. And if you do hear one, say, excuse me, can I pray for you? Can I can I share with you? Amen. Mm -hmm. And talk to them. <laughs> If we're not careful of what we watch and listen to, we'll lose our peace of mind. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. God knows this. Amen. Keep going, coming. Who's reporting you on believe? That's what we're going to talk about. Keep going. <coughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. They are right there. Okay. This is our text right here. It's Isaiah 53 and 1. It says, Who has believed our report? And to, to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Amen? Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. The arm of the Lord talks about, refers to God's power to deliver. Amen. And he is a deliverer. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes, so praise is. God. And listen, negative report comes in all kinds of ways. Amen? Oh, yeah. It could be a grudge. It says, no matter how much you nurse a grudge, it doesn't get any better. Yes. <laughs> but some of us try to do real good, you know, make it feel, do better, you know. It says, it doesn't matter how much you nourish a grudge, it doesn't get any better. You can have a grudge against life. You can have a grudge against circumstances. You can have a grudge about anything. And you can nurse the grudge and develop a bad report. Oh, yeah. Just by those thinkers. Remember, we're supposed to control our minds. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to renew our minds. And if you're not renewing your minds, you're just going to have some good conversations with yourself. Mm -hmm. Because the battlefield is the mind. Yes, it is. And we got to renew it with the Word of God. That's what it tells us to do. Renew yeah. your mind with the Word of God. Amen. And feed your spirit, man, the Word, the word of God. So, you, 
you can you can nurse the grudge and develop, you can uh, nurse your grudge and develop a bad attitude. Yeah. But this is no time to nurse it. That's this is it. no time to rehearse it, and oh. it's no time to disperse it mm. because you know if you're thinking it, mm. you're gonna say it, mm. and it's gonna come out of you, and it's not gonna be positive. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be something negative. Yeah. So it's not time to nurse it, rehearse it, or disperse it. Mm -hmm. But it's time to reverse it. Mm -hmm. We're going to reverse it, amen? And we're going to reverse it by how? By using the Word of God yes. and believing the good report. Mm -hmm. Because there's a good report. You know, somebody, I've been around people that never have anything good to no. say. Never have a good report. Yeah. Always doom and gloom, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow, you know? But, you know, mm -hmm. I know I've said it many times and I... I want you to hear it again. You are the body of Christ. We're the church, and we're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever be around. And sometimes we just got to be a good example by our words, our actions, or just how we conduct ourselves. And people see that, and they'll know. How come he never joins our, our group? How come she never does this? How come whatever? But they notice something different about you. They notice something different and they want what you've got. Yeah. Are you ready to share what you got? Amen. Yeah. What is it you, what is it about you? Mm. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Don't be ashamed to say it. Amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some of us are real gung-ho Christians when it's Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> and we come and we gather together and we talk to each other, man, and and we're, you know, uh Bible warriors, you know, Bible champions. But when we leave here, we're something else. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be a God pleaser. Yeah. And don't be ashamed of the gospel. Mm -hmm. So when you leave these four walls, you're also a champion for God. Amen. Amen. And people see that. They say, that person, that man, that woman, they're for God. And they, they're solid. Amen. Well, I want them to say that about me. Praise yeah. God. Praise God. Thank so God. whose report are you going to believe? Many muchos reports. <laughs> Coming in from all sources, and you'll hear them, you'll see them. I mean, they got them in anything, okay? They even got them in games, you know? They got them oh, yeah. in whatever you are using or, or looking at mm -hmm. or listening to. Yeah. Sadly to say, listen to this now. Sadly to say, some believers let bad negative reports rob them. How do they rob them? They steal, they take, they deprive. They mug you. They pick your pockets. I haven't heard that in a while. Mm -hmm. But they steal. What's the enemy's mission? Steal, kill, and destroy. And who's he going to use? He's going to use people. Amen? He's going to use whatever to distract you. Amen? Rob us of God's best. We're talking about believers. Mm -hmm. The enemy's going to try to to this uh, steal, kill, and destroy, and take the best God has for us. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we say nothing; we just let it let it happen. Many block their own blessings with the bad reports, mm -hmm. words. Use uh, we speak daily and don't even know it. So we have to be careful. Uh, I read to the church family here a report a few minutes ago. And I've read it to you and I'll read it to you again. It says this. Let your words agree with God's word. Listen, if you don't agree with God's word, don't say it. Because you know it's negative. And as a child of God, if you've got the word in you, you know it's going to be negative. So why so bad seed? Carmen, find me that slide that goes all the way to the back. This, uh, keep, keep, keep going. Uh, keep going. Everybody right there, right there. We have this scripture too. Proverbs 18, uh, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And I, I chose this one. It says, death and life are both in the fruit of your mouth. What's the fruit of your mouth? Your words. So you have to be careful. Death and life are both fruits of your mouth. What you confess will either kill you or give you life. Every seeming negative circumstance in your life will present you with this choice. So as a child of God, you know better. We know it. And you know what? You know what? I just couldn't control myself. I just had to say it. 
No. Jesus had opportunities all the way to his death to give in and sin. But he still cho he chose not to and he didn't. So you can control yourself. Yeah. But we have grace and if we confess, he'll forgive us. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So many block their own blessings with the bad reports, words you speak daily and don't even know it. Mm -hmm. By saying, I can't do that. We use that a lot, even as believers. I can't do that, Lord. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, we have examples of uh, Bible heroes. Told Noah to build an ark. He says, I can't do that. He told Noah to lead his people. He says, I can't do that. I can't speak. It's always, I can't, I can't, I can't. He told Jonah to go to the Nineveh and preach the word. And he says, I can't, and I ain't going there. <laughs> <laughs> so he had other plans. <laughs> and you know what? God already knew he, he had a fish ready to swallow him. Have you ever lived in a fish for three days? <laughs> for three nights? No. <laughs> and he survived. I mean, how did he survive in the, in the belly of a fish? You know? But then he's, he, he had a chance to repent. And, and, and say, okay, I, I agree to go. And he went. And the fish went and spit him out, you know? And he went and did what God told him to do. Amen? So, let's hopefully, we don't have to be like that. Amen? And some of us have been running from God too long. It's time to come home. Amen? I'm getting way ahead of myself, but I can't. Nobody in my family has ever done this. Amen. And we're always uh, mindsets, traditions, you know. Nobody has ever done this. Nobody in my family has ever done this. And I'll never do it. And we exclude ourselves, disqualify ourselves, where Jesus says you can do all things. So Amen. We're talking believers now. I can't start this business. Mm. I have no plans. I have no business. I have no money. Mm. You know? Well, if God is your source, he'll, he's your provider. He'll Amen. provide. I can't be healed. I'm always sick. Mm. You know what? I used to confess this all the time. I'm sick all the time. Mm. Certain time of the year, mm. you know, winter's here, I catch a cold all the time. Mm. And we go around confessing these things. And guess mm. what? You can have what you say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you sure enough, you're sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to hang around with you. <laughs> and if I do, I'm not going to confess what you confess. Mm -hmm. You know, wherever you happen to go, wherever you happen, you know, grocery mm -hmm. store, if you, your job, mm -hmm. you hear negative things, but don't mean you have to admit to them. You don't That's mean you it. have to give in to them. That's it. <laughs> Amen. You still show a positive report. Still you show a positive way. Amen. Yeah. Many give up faith and hope and quit before receiving God's best mm. and God's promise, what God has promised. Yeah, yeah. Don't give in, don't give up, you know? All you need to do is, is do an about face, do a turnaround and say, hey Lord, I have walked away from you. The prodigal mm -hmm. son said it, you know, we can say it. Mm -hmm. Say, I've sinned against you, mm -hmm. you know, and, and dust yourself and press on with the things yeah. of God, yeah. amen? <laughs> many yeah. magnify, again, many magnify um, magnify him for your healing magnify him for your blessings and not your problems your sickness or lack of whatever the situation happens to be remember magnify him don't magnify your problem and if you have problems cast it on him mm -hmm. you know we have cares anxieties worries whatever you happen to be he says give it to me i've got a plan for you i want you i've got a mission for you and yeah. i want you to succeed in this mission yeah. but i want you to give me all your negative things mm -hmm. so that you can press on yeah. And, yeah. and 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 accomplish what i want you to do yeah. you can do all things through me because i'm with you i'll never leave you and I'll forsake you yeah. and i'm with you and I'll give you the strength you need to do whatever it is you, you have to do. Amen. Nothing is impossible for me. Mm -hmm. And you you will be able to fulfill this. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, uh, Lord delivered me from negative self-talk reports and helped me to speak faith-filled words. You know how you're going to speak faith-filled words? You're going to have to get in the word yeah. and learn it and then speak it. Speak it out. You yes. know, this is the thing is. You could be a fool 
blown Christian mm -hmm. and got the word in you or have the word in you but if you ain't speaking it out yeah. you're defeated because you're not you're not gonna let the world you're not gonna let the enemy just run you over that's it. amen eventually you're gonna have to speak the word because yes, that's yes. what the word of God says speak yes. to this mountain mm -hmm. and if you ain't speaking you're defeated mm -hmm. so don't be a defeated Christian going to heaven and you're defeated that it don't make sense no it doesn't. amen it don't make sense at all that's it. <laughs> help me to build up and not tear yeah. down yeah hallelujah yeah. build your foundation with faith-filled positive confessions positive reports mm -hmm. and you get in the word hang out with folks that are helping you up yes. you know building you up the bible says do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together that's it if we meet on a, on a wednesday if we meet on a sunday assemble yourselves together Amen. help each other encourage one another yeah. and you know when we leave these four walls I'm ready to tackle some giants. <laughs> Amen. When you spend time with him early in the morning, mm -hmm. when before I leave those doors, you know, mm -hmm. I am ready to tackle some giants. Because mm -hmm. you know what? There's giants waiting for you. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. We're going to be talking about that in a few minutes. He said, go into the promised land. Mm -hmm. And ten of them says, <laughs> they came back with bad reports. <laughs> we can't. We can't. We can't. Mm -hmm. Two of them came with good reports and says, we can. Let's go yes. now. Now. Mm -hmm. Says, oh, no, no. So the majority rules. Sometimes the majority is not the best. That's right. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for them. <laughs> Again, uh, Proverbs 18.21, we saw a few minutes ago. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the words you speak. Yes. That's how important it is. Words. Mm -hmm. God used words to create yes. this world. It's words are powerful mm -hmm. they're seeds they're carriers of life but then mm -hmm. amen and we sow them so if you're going to sow something in your life sow good seed yes. sow positive things amen whose report are you going to believe and we read a few minutes ago isaiah 53 and 1 says uh who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the lord revealed mm -hmm. amen so praise god i'm going to mm -hmm. I just told you about uh, the, this is what God told Moses. He says, send 12 spies, from uh, one from each tribe, to scout the land of Canaan, the promised land God has given us, he gave you, for 40 days as the future, as a future home for the Isra Israelite people. During that time when the Israelis were in the wilderness following the exodus from, exodus, or from, excuse me, from Egypt, exodus from uh, Egypt, and the Lord told Moses to send these spies, and he sent 12 spies, and they went scouting. And 10 of them came back with negative reports. Mm -hmm. Two of them came back with positive reports. Amen. Caleb says, we can go, we can take them. No matter, no problem. The rest of them says, well, then there's giants there. It's good land. And we brought back some fruit, and you can see the fruit, man. It's blown with milk and honey. But the giants... Uh -uh, we can't mess with them. Mm. We're no match to them. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. People living there are powerful, mm -hmm. and their cities are large and for, uh, fortified. Yeah. It says we even saw giants there. <laughs> Amen. And yeah. you know what? You can be in the negative and go out in this world, and you see giants everywhere you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amen. But you know what? Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the yes, world. Yes, Amen. Yes. But Caleb, he tried to quiet the people as they stood before uh -huh. Moses. Let's go at once. Take the land, he says. We can certainly conquer it. But no. The bad reports will. <laughs> and they traveled another 40 years. Mm -hmm. You know? Before they even came in. And guess what? All the negative people were not allowed to go into the promised land. <coughs> Except Caleb, Caleb and uh, yeah. and uh, yeah. and yeah. Caleb and Joshua. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So they spread this bad report. Everybody was saying, sometimes you got to be careful. If you hear a, a, a bad report, don't take it and pass it on. To, hey, you know what? I want you to pass this on to somebody else. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, and you use that on Facebook. You use that on uh, oh, on God. whatever. You know, uh, and you don't have to continue that. If you go to my timeline, you'll see you don't see no negative things. 
And I don't befriend negative people. You mean I have positive things and I use that for ministry and not for junk. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So 10 bad reports showed little faith in the doom and gloom. Two reports showed Joshua and Caleb, uh, they showed uh, they believe. Says yeah. we can succeed. <laughs> we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. God is with us. God is back in us. Man, we can go now. It doesn't matter if it's just you and you and God. That's majority right there. Amen. Amen. He is he is with us. He is with you every day. The majority is not always right. Caleb had to stand in the midst of these uh, majorities and, and let them know that, hey, us little minority guys, two guys, we can go, we can, we can do this. Uh, majority says no. Nope. So, you know what? We got to focus. We, 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 we need to uh, get focused on the big reports and forget all the small stuff. Yeah. Uh, praise God. You know? So, we got to focus on the big blessings. And forget about the small ones. God, remember that God is a blesser. Yes. God is a blesser. He'll bless you. But yeah. we don't want to fall in love. And we just don't want to go with the blessings. We want to fall in love with the blessor. The one that's yeah. blessing us. Yeah. Amen. And these, yeah. uh, these blessings are going to continue. Take the limits off of God. We limit ourselves as we limit Him. Yes. We don't have to put limits on Him, you know, because the world says you can only do this. He may have limits for whatever, but there's no limits in God. Amen. Amen. There's no limits in Him. He's almighty. He's bigger and more powerful than Amen. any mountain. Amen. Amen. He's bigger than anything. He's the God on the mountain, mm -hmm. and He's God in the valley. Yes. So, you know, some of us are on top sometimes. Sometimes we're in the, in the valleys, you know, but guess what? He's still God. Yes. You now, whatever you're going through. Yes. God is God. Yes, yes. And you can look to Him, you know, and say, hey, what, what, how did I get here? Maybe the things you said, maybe the negative reports. But now, you know what? Speak the word and get yes. yourself back up on the mountain. Amen. Praise God. Exodus 23 and 1 says this You shall not circulate a false report. Do not put your hand with the wicked and be an unrighteous witness. Uh -huh. I'm going to read it to you in the easy to read version yeah. so you can understand this. It yeah. says, do not lie against people. If you are a witness in court, don't agree to help a bad person tell lies. Oh. <laughs> Come on now, don't throw that in the pastor. Mm. That's what the word of God says. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's not pass on this uh, bad negative report. Amen. Right. Right. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Here's another report. Jesus, it, it, it came to pass as the people uh, pressed upon him to hear the word of God. Jesus is at the Sea of Galilee mm -hmm. or the Lake of Galilee, whatever you want to call it. But he was there preaching the word and he saw some boats uh -huh. and these guys had just come in for fishing yeah. and it caught nothing. Huh. Amen. And he went and got on, uh, he got on uh, Simon Peter's uh, boat, and he says, take it out a little ways, take it out a little ways, and then he sat, then he sat, and he started preaching to these people. You know why he, there were so many people, he had to go out in the water so they wouldn't crowd him in. So he went out a little ways, and then he started preaching the word of God. Amen. Then he taught them. He entered into one of the ships, which was Simon Peter's, and prayed him. He says, would you uh, trust me and go out a little ways from the land? And he sat down and he talked to people. And when he had left, when he was done speaking, he said to Simon, launch out to the deep, let your nets down for a drought or a catch. Amen. And Simon Peter answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled we don't use that word a lot, but toil means we have labored all night, we have worked all night, we've sweat, sweated all night, and we caught nothing. Mm -hmm. That's the bad report. <laughs> Simon Peter's got a bad report. He says, but master, uh, uh, he says, but nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. He said, Jesus says, let down your nets, mm -hmm. plural. Peter, Simon Peter in the King James says, he let the... Uh, 
I'm going to do what you told me to do, and I'm going to let down the net. You see, he's talking about one net. Amen. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their nets break. It comes to almost breaking. And they beckoned them to the, their partners, the other boat, which was the other, the other ship, and they should come and help. And they came, and both were filled, both of them filled their ship and began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish and they that they had taken. Mm -hmm. John Simon Peter fell and says, You know, depart from me, I'm a sinful man. Mm -hmm. You know, they couldn't believe. We just went out all, all night no. <laughs> and caught nothing. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me to go back out after he preached. He says, Come, go out and cast your nets at, for a catch. He says, We've been out all night and we didn't catch nothing. And I'm an experienced professional fisherman. And you're telling me what to do, how to fish? So he said, But I'll do it. He obeyed. That was a good thing. He obeyed that good report and he went out. And they caught all these fish. And he even had. The, the other boat, the other people come and help them out. And yeah. their nets was breaking. Mm -hmm. And still he fell at Jesus' feet and mm -hmm. says, you know, depart from me. I'm a sinful man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us, we need, we need to learn from this. Yeah. Amen. We, we, we need to learn from this. Well, you know, I've tried it. Yeah. That tried stuff, it doesn't work. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Forget about it. You know what? Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. If you're going to get in it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us, we've had lifestyles of drugs, lifestyles of drinking, mm -hmm. lifestyles of whatever. Mm -hmm. And we messed it up. Mm -hmm. Why can't we give Jesus yeah. our lifestyle back to him? Yeah. You know, yeah. a lifestyle of serving him, not just tried it, you know. Yeah. You tried maybe one Sunday and you say, well, that's not for me. Mm -hmm. When you've been drinking or smoking or, or whatever other mm -hmm. sin in all your life. Mm -hmm. It's time to change. Make a lifestyle change. Yes. Amen. Anyway, so guess what? Mm -hmm. James and John were helpers of uh, Simon Peter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus uh, said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, on your works. Mm -hmm. Now on, your works will be to bring people and not fishes. Amen. He changed their jobs right there. Yeah. <laughs> they walked away from their professional fishermen to being fishers of men. Yeah. So, you know, whatever you've done all your life, if he changes your lifestyle, if he changes whatever you do, it's uh, okay. I'm doing this for God. Yeah. And when I'm doing it under God, I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to succeed. In whatever he's called me to do. Yeah. And you can do all things through Christ. Oh, okay. So let's remember this. Yeah. You know, we try to control it by holding on. Well, I've always done this. Well, mm -hmm. you retired from a career uh, that you hated all the time. Uh -huh. And you started doing something simple for God mm -hmm. and love it. Yeah. I should have changed this. I should have done this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And God has been nudging you all this time mm -hmm. but you never you never you never listen mm -hmm. so he said from now on you're going to be, uh, bring me uh, people not yeah. fish yeah. <laughs> yeah. hallelujah Lord. and guess what this is what he says and men brought their boats to the shore mm -hmm. and they left everything and followed Jesus, Jesus. That's it. you know what whatever it is that you have mm -hmm. to give up give it up if Jesus if you're going to take Jesus as your Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. forget about what's in the past. Mm -hmm. He's going to bless you more than you ever had before. Amen. Amen. So don't be afraid of what you're going to live. Leave. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Bad report. Whose report are you going to believe? Uh, uh, Simon Peter, James, John believed the report of the Lord. Amen. And they Amen. followed. Whose report are you going to believe? The yeah. doctor's report? Your body's telling me, man, I don't feel good. I feel sick. Mm -hmm. A terminal sickness. No cure. Mm -hmm. Your bills are piling up. Mm -hmm. uh, whose report are you going to believe? Your job mm -hmm. says, <laughs> they say you're fired. You're terminated. Mm -hmm. You're laid off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are you going to depend on? Mm -hmm. Your children. You got a negative report. You know, <laughs> I just heard. 
something wrong with your child, you know? School report. Whose report are you going to believe? <laughs> Jesus healed the man from leprosy. Mm -hmm. Listen to what this. It says, it came to pass when uh, 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 he was at a certain city. Behold, a man full of leprosy, mm -hmm. seeing Jesus, fell to his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou will, if, if thou will, thou can make me clean. Mm -hmm. That's his bad report. He bowed. He knew Jesus was in town. Mm -hmm. And you know, lep le lepers were not allowed to come in town. Mm -hmm. Jesus saw him. He came to Jesus and he knelt. And he, and he asked for healing. And Jesus, and Jesus put forth his hand and touched him saying, I will thou be clean. Mm -hmm. That's the good report. Because yeah. you're not supposed to touch lepers. Uh. Amen. Anybody with leprosy, you're not supposed to touch them. Mm -hmm. But Jesus reached out and touched him. Mm -hmm. That was the positive report. That was a good yes. report. Yes. <laughs> and Jesus put forth his hand and touched him and saying, mm -hmm. I will be thou clean. Mm -hmm. And immediately the leprosy left him. Mm -hmm. And he charged him, go and tell no man, but go and show thyself to the priest. Yes. And <laughs> others for the cleansing, according to Moses, a command for a testimony yes. unto them. Who's reported you don't believe? Mm -hmm. Amen. All of them ran, mm -hmm. except one of them came back to mm -hmm. thank him. Amen. The rest of them just kept on going. Yeah. But he was grateful. Don't be ungrateful. Jesus heals a paralyzed man. I mean, these are bad reports, good reports. Amen. Mm -hmm. One day when Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees and teachers of religious law were sitting nearby. And seeing that, these men showed up from every village in all of Galilee and Judea, as well as from Jerusalem. And the Lord healing powers was strongly with Jesus. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping bag. That was the bad report. Well, that's not all the bad report. They, they look and there's no room. Yeah. I mean, the place is packed. Packed out. So, and the good thing is about these men, they didn't give up. That's it. Say, we're going to get this man to Jesus. They went on top of the roof. I don't know whose building that was or whose house that was, but they went on top of the roof and they tore the roof. And just so happens they tore the roof right in front of where Jesus was. Yeah. yeah. And they let him down. Yeah. And Jesus didn't get mad. The owner of the house didn't come and get all ticked off. <laughs> Jesus saw their faith. What do you yeah. see when you see people? Mm -hmm. Do you see them with the love and compassion of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or do you just get mad, just like mm -hmm. the rest of them, yeah. and say un mm -hmm. unkind things? Mm -hmm. Remember, you're a child of God. You see people with His love and His compassion. Yeah. <clears throat> we should be Christ-like. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> They tried to take him inside to Jesus, but they couldn't reach him because the crowd. So they come up to the roof and took some of the tiles off and they lowered him. They lowered the sick man and he's met right in front of the crowd, into the crowd, right in front of Jesus. Jesus, seeing their faith, Jesus said to the man, young man, your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Pharisees and the Sadducees are so ticked off now because they said only God can do that. Yeah. You can <laughs> Mm -mm. Well, Jesus had a, an answer for them. Yeah. <laughs> says only God can forgive. Mm. And Jesus says, "So I will prove to you." He 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 read their minds. He knew what they was thinking. Mm -hmm. He says, "So I'll prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins." Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, "Stand up, pick up your mat, and go home." Mm. That was the positive report. Some of you have been sick all this time. Mm. But you know, believe what Jesus says. Believe what the Word of God says. Yes. By His stripes you're healed. Amen. Speak healing over your bodies. Mm -hmm. Malfunctions. Since God created everything to function the way He created it to function, not yeah. for malfunctions. Amen. So immediately everyone watched and the man jumped, picked up his mat, and he went home praising God. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Woo. Mm -hmm. They're rejoicing. Yeah. Except for the Pharisees and the Sadducees, you know, they're mad. Amen. So whose report are you going to believe? Mm -hmm. Amen. This is just some good and, and bad reports. 
the good report is Jesus came into Jerusalem a triumphant as, as a king, mm -hmm. King Jesus. Yes. The bad report was the next week they crucified him. Mm -hmm. Another good report is he rose again. Yes. You know, while hell was passing the good the, yes. the news, you know, <laughs> hey, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Man, they're rejoicing in hell. Oh, yeah. And guess what? The third day, he's up again. <laughs> he's rose. That's the best report. And yes. he still rose. He's, he's in heaven, yes. interceding for us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. One more, and uh, we'll let you go. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Jesus gave life to a dead girl. Mm. Jesus, they told Jesus, listen, listen to what, what, he, what he says. Uh -huh. Jesus was still talking. A leader of the synagogue came to Jesus, and the leader bowed before him, honored him, and said, My daughter has mm. died. That was a bad report. Mm. But if you'll come and touch her with your hand, mm. she will live again. So Jesus and his followers went. That's a good thing. Mm. While he's on his way there, <laughs> this is all the same. <laughs> While he's going there, remember there's this, this woman with the issue of blood. Yes, yes. And she's been, all this time, she's been mm -hmm. seeing doctors. And they told her there's no hope for you. Mm. 12 years now. <laughs> And while she, while Jesus is going to go see this dead girl, this lady come and touched him. Mm -hmm. He's in a crowd, and Jesus says, "Somebody touch me." Mm -hmm. You're in a crowd. You know, a lot of people are going to touch you yeah. and bump you yeah. and whatever. But Jesus says, "Somebody touch me," mm -hmm. and virtue came out of him. Mm -hmm. You know that anointing was drawn mm -hmm. from him. Yeah. The lady says, "If I could only touch the hem of his garment, I'd be healed." And she had always, she was magnifying God and she, she had a good report. If I touch the hem of his garment, I'll be healed. She didn't say, if, if I bow down and he touches me, she said, if I touch the hem of his garment, I'll be healed. Man, that was awesome. And guess what? <laughs> she was healed. On the way, there was a woman that had been bleeding for 12 years. Bad, bad, bad report. She came behind Jesus, touched him on his coat. She, <clears throat> she was thinking, if I can only touch his coat, I'll be healed. Jesus turned and saw the woman and said, Be happy, dear woman. You are made well because you believe. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we just got to believe what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. You know, we have doubts. We mm -hmm. got all these mindsets, traditions, mm -hmm. and things. We got to plow through, concrete through, you know. Yeah, yeah. We can't work with it concrete that's already set you, know, you, gotta, you gotta you gotta break it and start all over again you know so you <laughs> were made well because you believed then the woman was healed mm -hmm. whose report did she believe not the doctor's report the doctors right. gave up on it says, there's no hope for you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she believed the good report jesus gave her yes. now back to the dead girl oh, boy. <laughs> mm. That was just a little side thing. <laughs> Back to the dead girl. Jesus <laughs> gives life to the dead girl. This, listen to this and we're close here. Mm. But it says, Jesus continued with the Jewish leader mm -hmm. and, went, and went into the leader's house. He saw people there who made music for funerals. Mm. He saw crowds of people crying loudly. Jesus mm. says, go away. Mm. He don't want any doubt. You don't want no negative reports. Mm -hmm. Hey, we make a business. We we do our thing, you know, by singing at funerals. Mm -hmm. We do our thing, just come and cry at, at mm -hmm. funerals. Jesus says, go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, um, Jesus says, go away. The girl is not dead. Mm -hmm. She's only asleep. But the people there, you know what they did? <laughs> they laughed at him. They laughed. At him. <laughs> they laughed. So that's why he says, you guys go. You're not going to believe anyway. Mm. So go. Told him to leave. Mm. And he left at him. After the people were put out of the house, that's what we need to do with some of these things <laughs> God tells us to cast, yes. cast out of our lives, you know. Mm. Go. They were mm -hmm. put out of the house. Mm -hmm. Jesus went to the girl's room. He held the girl's hand, and the girl stood up. Mm. The news about that spread throughout the whole area. Mm -hmm. Amen.
God wants to use you, child of God. Don't exclude yourself, include yourself. I gave you a handout that talks about bad reports and good reports. Study those. You know, this is just a few examples. There's more scripture to back this up. Amen. But from now on, from this day on, and the rest of your life, some of you watching, some of you listening, accept God's report. God's good report. Whose report yes. are you going to believe? Yes. You have to make a choice. Yeah. What is your choice? Yeah. You know, don't just copy so and so. Don't go with the majority because the majority may not be right. Right. But go with what the Word of God says. Amen. What is the Word of God says? Mm -hmm. And stand and receive that report for yourself. Amen. So let's forget about the negative reports and let's start confessing, uh, uh, believing in God's report. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> Did you receive anything? Yes. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. We receive your word, Father. We just put it to use as we go out, Father, and do what you've asked us to do, Father. In Jesus' precious name, for we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Some of you that are watching, some of you are listening, this is your time. You've never asked Jesus to come and be your Lord and Savior. So it's time, you know, just like the prodigal son, you know, hey, it's time to change. Whose report are you going to believe? We believe the report of the world for too long now. We believe the re your report, your negative report. No, it's time for a positive report. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, <laughs> I confess you. I repent. Mm -hmm. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And he will be your Lord and Savior. And you don't know, start living for him. Start pressing on, going after him. Get into a Bible-based church where you can go and study the Word. Get you a Bible and start reading it. Yes. And confessing what the Word of God says. Amen. Get the Word in you so you can speak it out for yourself. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says you can do all things all through Christ things. who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. And let's believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, I do this all the time myself. I just lay hands on me. And I say, body, line up with the Word of God. Receive your healing right now, whatever it is. From head to toe, the Bible says, by Jesus stripes, you are healed. So mm -hmm. I'm receiving my healing. Whatever it happens to me, it doesn't matter. Any malfunctions, the Bible says that he's created you. He created everything to function just the way he created to function. Yes. And function well and function normal in mm -hmm. Jesus' precious name. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I receive that in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. <clears throat> and receive, you know what? The report of the Lord. Because your mind is telling you it didn't work, it didn't work, it's no good. I'm going to believe what the Word of God says. By His stripes I'm healed. So body line up with the Word of God and receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! Those of you watching, it's time to give. Your tithe, your offerings, you can still do so. Go to our website, it's on the screen there. NBCBigBen.com Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And now you can do Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. God bless you. We love you. Have a blessed day and happy Palm Sunday to you. Thank you.